Welcome! In front of me is a Xiaomi 12T Pro and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So if you perform a reset of your device uh, when you had a screen lock and a Google account, then your device most likely will become FRP lock like this one is right now. And to basically clarify this, assuming we don't know either of those, either the Google account or the pattern in my case, then I'll just show you how we can bypass this. So you can see phone is locked, either pattern, come on, there we go, pattern or Google account, so there we go. Now to get started with the bypass, there is two things that we will need. Number one would be a network connection. So you can see I have already connected. If you're not, if you haven't done so yet, just progress through the setup till we get to this page, select your Wi-Fi, connect to it, and that's it. And another thing that you will need is a SIM card with a PIN. Now you don't need to know the PIN for it, you just need to have a SIM card with it. If you have some other SIM card that just maybe doesn't have a PIN, you can pop it into a, a different phone that you can actually use, navigate into the settings and set up a PIN on your SIM card from there. And then use it to uh, begin the bypass here. Now, uh, I already have the SIM card right over here ready to go. so. I'm gonna right now lock the device just so I don't press anything on the screen. I'm gonna take off the cover and put in the card. There we go. Now, what will happen is it's gonna tell me to put in a my SIM card pin. And what I will do instead of that is just take it back out. As you can see, it automatically locks the device. That's normal. So let me just take it out just so you can see there is no more SIM card. But we are now on the lock screen. So swipe down from the top like this. And then click on this bell icon with the settings. And this takes us to notifications and control center. From here on, I select up notifications, scroll all the way down to YouTube, click on it, scroll down and select additional settings in the app, about, help, and in here type in, I think, delete, delete, disable, and manage, there we go, the second option. Click on it, then select top to go to application settings, the blue text. Tap on more, and then select show system. And start off by tapping on Android setup. Select force stop and OK. And go back. Scroll down even lower to Google Play services. There we go. So Google Play services right over here. And here you're gonna select disable and disable app. This closes it out and reopens it. So let's open up again Google Play services. And here you wanna select also for stop and okay. Then go back, scroll down even lower to settings. As you can see, we have two, one and two. You wanna select the first one. So this one right over here. And then choose open. Now once you have opened up settings, we're going to first navigate to, let me just quickly make sure. So we're going into additional settings right, right over here. And you want to select accessibility, accessibility mini, and enable it. Allow and OK. So once you have added your accessibility mini, hold your power key and select reboot.
So you can see we are now back in the setup, though it already started us off from the network connection page. We're gonna progress through it. That, that was weird, let's try it again. Oh, there we go. So it's gonna start getting our device ready in a few moments. Uh, just let it run through this. Uh, next thing you should see is the, uh, what was it, don't remind me, or no, don't copy button. So we're gonna select that once it's visible. go let's select don't copy and now we will see the checking for updates and we should be stuck on here now if for some reason it goes further for you uh, to the point that it tells you to verify the account again then that means that you didn't disable Google Play services otherwise we should be stuck right here now what we need to do from here is press on this accessibility menu then select Google Assistant and then tap on settings now this will be disappearing so you will need to probably repeat this uh, multiple times before we can actually manage to just do what we need to do and let me just try to show it to you so when you press on the settings it will open up the page with google play services and in there you want to select enable which will be like right here in the middle ah almost Okay, that's interesting. So it's already enabled. Ah, it didn't work, I think. Oh, no, it did. Great. So I was uh, scared for a moment because I managed to actually enable it the first time around. And then I reopened it, which I was scared that it would actually just backtrack and then recheck. But it didn't. The way I know that it didn't is because it showed me the next page already. So it completely skips the verification portion once you re-enable Google Play services. And from here we can finish up the setup. Now I'll also be very honest with you, uh, this took way quicker than I was expecting it. I was doing the same bypass for the 12T, just the normal 12T, not the Pro. And it took me over, I think, 20 tries, if not more to manage to actually enable the Google Play services. So something to keep in mind that in your case, it might take you significantly more tries to actually enable it than it took for me. And once you do so and you just get through that, uh, through that page, verification page, you skip it, you can then set up your device by skipping everything that you can. So right now the device is technically still locked, so you shouldn't really worry about how it is being set up. Just go through it as quick as you can. Now, once we have access to our home screen, you want to now navigate into your settings, select about phone, and then select factory reset. Erase all data at the bottom, factory reset and then we get our 20 seconds wasted by Xiaomi uh, so you want to select next and then OK and this will begin factory resetting the device now it seems kind of redundant considering we we're just doing a setup but this is a crucial last step to unlock the device by performing a factory reset of the phone through settings it forces the device to remove all protections from it um, which therefore fully unlocks the device and that is a crucial last step so press on OK to finish it up. I'm not going to go over this just because factory reset is just a lot of doing nothing, at least not visibly anything. And then you will be taken back to the setup screen of your phone, at which point you can set up your device however you want. So with that being said, this hopefully showed you pretty clearly how you can bypass the Google verification and completely remove it from this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.